Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, with the name of God, the most merciful, compassionate. Um, we would like to thank the press for being here. Uh, the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations organized the first international conference of Muslim organizations in the West, a major initiative for Muslims in Western countries. In Washington, D.C., February 1st to the 3rd, in, in Arlington, Virginia. The conference was first, the first of its kinds to bring Muslim leaders around the world together to exchange experiences and to discuss common issues of concern to our communities. A conference of this scale, uniting the voices of Muslims across the Western Hemisphere and the world is vital to our continued growth and development as a global community. The 200 attendees included representatives from Muslim communities and councils and their member organizations from North America, South America, Europe, Australia, and the Caribbean. International representatives presented reports on Muslim communities in their countries. The conference discussions focused on five issues. The first one, identifying and developing strategic priorities for the Muslim communities in the West. Number two, exchanging ideas and developing strategies to address the rise of Islamophobia and anti-Muslim bigotry in the West. Developing ways with which to challenge and counteract the problem of violent extremism in all its forms enhancing the integration and positive contribution of Muslim communities in the societies they live in. And finally, developing strategies for the resettlement of new waves of refugees and exchanging experiences and resources. The conference was a successful and productive event with participants discussing issues and working together to propose solutions. The leaders were able to come up with a set of initiatives and proposals to further and for further deliberation. The conference resolved that the leaders participating in the conference have acknowledged the need and have agreed to form a coordinating body of Muslim councils in the West and have formed a steering committee to implement this decision. Also, the leaders will continue to engage in civic, social, political, and educational areas to better integrate the Muslims in their own countries as well as internationally. This historic conference was a vibrant, open discussion with enthusiastic participation from a diverse set of leaders who presented the Muslim community in the West a commitment to continue such meetings which bring leaders together for a common purpose and vision for our community was also agreed upon. Thank you. That's our, uh, anybody would like to have a question? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, Ahmed Bidir with United Voices. Um, what will your coalition do to combat the rising tide of uh, extremism um, in Europe, and the flow of the recruitment of ISIS of European citizens and potentially young people from the West. Have you discussed that and do you have a plan to resolve it? We do acknowledge the rise of extremism on both sides uh, and therefore it is a threat to the society at large, uh, not just the Muslim communities from, uh, let's say, right-wing extremism, but also from the uh, uh, violent extremism that comes from the uh, uh, Middle East as uh, results of the chaotic political uh, upheaval and situation in that area. And the, the Muslim communities in the West have been caught in the, right in the middle uh, trying to fight both extremism. And therefore it will take more than just the, uh, the Muslim community to uh, face these challenges, but it's going to be an, uh, uh, an integral part of, of the government um, community uh, organizations and, 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 and law enforcement and citizens to really face this. Uh, we believe there has to be a comprehensive 
uh, approach to uh, uh, dealing with violent extremism in any sides. And therefore, one single approach to it, uh, we believe, is not going to uh, handle it. Yes. Uh, Nehad Awad. Question from Nehad Awad. OK. Uh, yesterday, the president went to uh, his first visit to the mosque. One year reaction on that. And also, he mentioned in his speech that law enforcement can't use engagement as a cover for uh, spying on the community or treating them as suspect. Um, do you think that? Uh, that visit in the mosque and his words will actually lead to policy changes and what's your reaction about his visit to the mosque? Okay. So uh, I think most of our organizations and communities welcome the historic visit of uh, President Obama to the mosque in Baltimore. And many of our organizations have been calling and urging the president to take that step that was in needed and uh, we appreciate uh, not only the visit but the content of his speech he touched upon all the issues and concerns that young American Muslims, families, organizations, and communities are, are, are worried about, uh, mainly Islamophobia, uh, the, the rise of anti-Islam and anti-Muslim rhetoric, especially coming from elite politicians, uh, and how dangerous this phenomenon is and how it uh, threatens to destroy the fabric of, of, of our nation. Uh, also, the president acknowledged that the, the concerns that American Muslims have about their privacy and their constitutional rights. And, and he, uh, uh, in fact, uh, pleasantly I was surprised that the, pre that the president uh, uh, cautioned against uh, using the engagement programs with the Muslim community as a cover uh, to spy on them and, and to conduct surveillance programs, something that we have condemned for many years. And I'm, I'm glad that the president pointed out to it but the question is, uh, is this speech going to translate into policy? Uh, we know that the president is in, in his last uh, year, but we hope that the tone and the changes that he will make in the next few months will impact the incoming uh, administration, regardless of who will be in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the White House. So overall, I think uh, the president's uh, visit was, was important, was timely. Uh, and I know I heard some criticism uh, from uh, uh, right-wing organizations and media. Uh, they have been criticizing everyone who disagrees with them, but we believe the president struck the right tone. I think in, in, in addition to what uh, Brother uh, Nihad said, we do applaud the, the president for uh, such visit. Uh, nothing too late, um, and, and I think um, the, the president's statement is really very well received when he said an attack on one religion is an attack on all religions. We applaud the president for pointing out that uh, ISIS does not represent Muslims, and Muslims do not uh, agree with ISIS, and they are the victims of, of the very first, uh, very same uh, uh, group. So uh, I think it, it should be noted that the Muslim community welcomes uh, the president's remarks, and we believe this is uh, going to help uh, harmonize our communities uh, and, and point out only the, uh, the, uh, the culprits in this and not really stigmatize the entire communities. All right, thank you very much.